Culture Greta and uh, I have completed my BSc in Civil Engineering and after completing my Bachelor of Science I have worked in the development sector of Bangladesh for around three years. After that I was motivated to start again my academic career and that's why I have applied in the UCL and the Commonwealth as well and here I am to doing my Masters. The scholarship is a very prestigious scholarship and uh, the scholars of uh, the government scholars of Bangladesh they are uh, doing really very well like uh, some of them are working to uh, making the disaster and the gender to mainstream in the project uh, some of them are working to increase the consciousness among the people so that uh, they restrict themselves in eradicating the natural resources. Some of them are business, business entrepreneurs. Uh, some are doing very, very well in the IT sector. So they are really contributing uh, for the betterment of the society. In fact, the Commonwealth also offers to make a sustainable networking with the scholars from different countries. So considering all these things, uh, I consider myself to be a Commonwealth Scholar through applying in Commonwealth Scholarship. Well, uh, in case of applying in such prestigious scholarship, uh, my biggest concern was like uh, it's, a, it's an international scholarship. I am going to compete with the students from 41 nationalities from different continents. So I have to bear in mind about my strength, my weakness, and uh, this is how I have to overcome it. Like um, I have to fulfill the EAS, that, that is electronic application system, the formal application of the Commonwealth. And here I have to put all my strengths very politely and very systematically in the whole application. So, but I bear in mind that I have to put it very systematically so that my application is considered very dynamic, very unique compared to the other students of different continent. So this is how I overcome the concern. Oh, it's uh, really very great, very excellent because uh, the environment of UCL IRDR offers a multidisciplinary approach. Here, students are very friendly, and all the module tutors and the staffs all are very friendly. So I think that uh, it's a very welcoming environment for all the students. And um, in case of uh, my fulfilling the expectation is like uh, now I can correlate my present gaining knowledge with my uh, previous experience because, uh, as I have said before, that. Uh, I have worked in the professional field in Bangladesh and uh, there I worked um, in the engineering field. I have some common knowledge on the structural basis. An engineer must have a sort of combined knowledge between the hard core engineering and the soft core non-structural measures. And all the modules of UCL IRDR actually provides all sort of things which I want. So I think that it completely fulfilling my expectations. The best gain of, from this program is knowledge. The question can be best simplified with the answer is like uh, when I was in Bangladesh or when I was a Bangladesh student, I have uh, knowledge on very uh, limited sort of hazards like uh, the hazard on floods or storm surge, earthquake or tsunami. So the matter is after coming here, my, my horizon has expanded. Like uh, today I know about the cascading disasters or the disaster related to the CBRN like uh, chemical, biological or radiological and nuclear hazards. So all the things actually expanded my arena. So I think that in future I can uh, work in the disaster sector and uh, because of having more knowledge I can contribute it in the decision making. Living in London, like uh, this experience is really so great because uh, here I am experiencing 
the new culture, new environment, new weather. And also I have uh, made a lot of new friends, met a lot of new people. So I think that uh, I have gained uh, a very new experience and also um, studying in UCL IADA have got Commonwealth scholarships. So I think that uh, uh, considering all these views, I am enjoying my life in London really very much.